Hello and welcome to this week's AB Tutor video. Today I'm going to start the tour of the policy effects by talking about the acceptable use dialogue effect. On many networks there will be conditions of use which the user has to agree to before they can start using a computer. These are commonly displayed using an acceptable use policy pop-up on login which the user can either click to agree to or decide not to use the computer. There are a number of different ways that these can be applied, both built into the OS and custom. However, AB Tutor offers them to allow them to be customised around the site, showing different policies in different rooms or at different times of the day. When the policy effect is selected, click on the Acceptable Use dialog tab. The text entry box allows you to enter and format the text for the policy, and the controls on the right allow you to select an image and background colours. In the Responses section, you can configure what options the user has on the dialog. For example, you could request that the user selects what they need the computer for to allow your machines to be prioritised for certain use cases. The options selection also allows you to include an option to reject the policy and automatically log the user back out again. In this case, they will be unable to use the computer until they log in again and agree to the policy. The options also allow you to display the user's response to the policy in the notification column on the console machine, which, in the previous example, would allow you to quickly see what your users said they wanted the computers for. Finally, if you untick Close on User Response, the policy will remain on screen even after the user agrees to it, meaning that the user needs a console user to manually approve their login by disabling the policy before they can use the computer. In most cases, leaving it ticked will be the desired behaviour. In this example, I have set up a policy to ask the user what they are planning to use the computer for, but to allow them to log in without any other delay. When applied to a client, you can see that the login is automatically interrupted, and once the user does log in, their response is displayed in the console. Alternatively, if the user rejects the policy and selects to log out, they will be dropped straight back to the login screen. I hope this tour of the Acceptable Use dialog system has been interesting and useful. However, if it has raised any questions that I've not covered, please let us know by emailing support at abtutor.com. Thanks for watching.